Hi guys, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. Thanks for coming on in to see what I'm doing today. I hope you can stick around and see how this turns out. I have a few things here. This is a large tray mold that I just got from Timu. It's pretty big. Um, it's 10 inches by five and a half inches, I think. So I'm going to do something a little different. And I don't know if you all noticed on my end pictures if you've been watching any of my videos i always try to go out in the sunlight to get the best color on the item that i made from the sunlight and since i have the swimming pool that back there i usually use it as a backdrop because a lot of times i have blue in the piece and it looks good with the blue anyway the girl that cleans my pool all year and keeps it that beautiful sparkling shine um chrissy her name is and she's also into resin and i found out by accident that she was into resin and she knows that i make videos and the other day she said that when i was walking my dog she told me that she had left me something on my lanai so when i got home of course i went to look and she left me the most amazing gift guys she lives in venice and that's the shark tooth capital of the world and she sent me, or sent me, she gave me an entire jar of shark teeth that she has found on the beach there. It's like, anytime you go to the beach, you can find shark's teeth, especially after a storm, they wash up on shore. And all these black teeth are all fossilized shark teeth from different sharks. And she went through and picks me out all of these full ones. None of them are broken. They are amazing. They're all different sizes. And I was like, I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I have all these ideas running through my head. I'm like, what am I going to make with this? Because I don't want to waste them. And so she gave me all of these. So I decided that I'm going to put them on this tray since it's a nice large piece that can display a lot of them. I'm also going to be using my shells, all these little shells. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I have some um, starfish that I have here. I think I have one sand dollar left. I might save that for something else since there's only one. So I also have some sand, which I don't have enough. So I do have to go pick up some more tomorrow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to only pour half of this tray. It holds 13 ounces. So I'm going to put about seven ounces in here. I'm going to arrange all these pieces the way I want them, let it cure, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix my sand in the resin and I'm going to back coat it with the sand. I'm hoping that looks cool. I think it'll go. I mean, obviously all these things were found in the sand, so I don't see why that wouldn't be okay. So I hope you stick with me and let's get started. Okay, I mixed up eight ounces and I took four of it and I put it in this cup. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these small shells, mix it in the resin and just go along this outer border. So I'll have a nice thick border. It'll probably, oops, I don't want that big one in there. It'll probably take a lot of them, I'm assuming. So we shall see how this looks. Are you proud of me? I'm not putting glitter in that border. I'm so tempted to put glitter in there, but not with the beach. I won't do it. There's another big one I don't want in there. I have all different sizes. I have this package I got from Timu as well. Um, but I think they're going to be a little too big. I might use some of these on this part but i'm not sure yet so i just have them all available if i want them okay so we're just gonna get these situated oh there was a big one i wonder if it'll fit in there nope darn let me get him out all right so i'm not sure the easiest way to do this i think just pour it on and make sure you squish them down because there's going to be air pockets down there and bubbles that you may form 
If you do get bubbles in, guys, you can use your UV resin to fill them in when it's cured and just cure those bubble parts. All right, I will get this a little fast forward for you so you're not bored and come back when I'm ready for the next step. Okay, I did pull some out because what I saw was they were up high and I want to be able to make sure that sand goes evenly across the back of this. So I did pull some out. So I'm just going to use the rest of these and dump them in here randomly before I place everything else. Because these will be able to be moved around. I'm just going to kind of spread it and then add this other stuff before I put the rest of the resin and the rocks in. Actually, I better pour the resin in now. Not rocks, shells, sorry. So I'm going to pour. That way it's not going to move everything that I do. I don't know that I'll need all this. I just want to coat the back. Yeah, I don't want to use any more. So I used, I mixed up eight and I have two left. So I used six ounces. Okay, now I'm going to grab this stuff and get it placed. You know what I just realized, guys? I have some glitter starfish. So I'm going to put some in. You thought I wasn't going to have any glitter. So I'm going to just randomly place these guys around. I knew I would find a spot for glitter in this piece. <laughs> I'm going to put three in there. And then I'm going to put some regular starfish. I don't want any broken ones or curled ones. And make sure that the right side is showing. These are the backs. And those are the fronts. So you want the fronts to show underneath. I might pour some resin over this stuff. I'm not sure yet. But right now I just want to get it placed. Because I definitely want the shark's teeth in here. All right. Now you want the good side to be showing. So this one, I know that's the front of it, but you could see more tooth on the back of it. Well, I better do the front of it. I better do it right. Now, if you obviously, most of you don't live here in Florida and have access to shark teeth for free, but I bet you can buy them on Amazon, I'm assuming. We find these, you could find as many as you want. Like we, I know my neighbor here, he goes to the beach all the time and he scuba dives the beaches. And he finds the megalodon teeth that are like that big, huge, huge ones worth a lot of money. I'm sure he won't give me one of those to put in my resin pieces. <laughs> All right, I will go ahead and speed this up for you. And then um, come back when it's cured to pour the sand on. So <laughs>
okay, so I, I don't want to use all of them because I'm going to cherish those and I'm going to use them in something else. So I'm going to mix in some more shells just to fill in some of these gaps. I don't want to fill it completely in because I want to be able to see the sand through it. Um, but I do want to just put a little bit more than I already have. So I'm just going to hand place them in there in some of these bare spots. That's plenty. Like I said, I don't want to fill it completely up. I do want to push these little guys in to get resin over them so they're not sticking up. I don't have a lot on the bottom. Some of it's not completely covered, but it's enough to glue it down for tonight. I'm just going to spray it with alcohol and pop some bubbles. And I will see you as soon as it's cured. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. I do have to say, if you missed the clip right before this, it's pretty entertaining. You might want to rewind and go watch that. My brother decided he was going to buy a remote control boat, and his first venture with it was in my front pond. And they decided they were going to be smart and drive it right next to the alligator that's out there, one of them anyway. And the alligator decided to eat it for breakfast. So that was pretty funny. I thought I'd share it with you. Anyway, glad it wasn't mine. Not my money down the drain, literally. Okay, so this is all cured. I have mixed up six ounces of resin and I went out and I bought some more sand so we can coat the back of this. I do see a couple of these. They either floated or I didn't pay attention. So I'm going to have to somehow get those knocked down after the sand is cured. I don't want to break them down now because I don't want to ruin this layer. So I'm just going to mix some of this sand right into the resin. I want it pretty thick. I don't want it. I know I'm not going to need all of this, but I'll, I don't know. I'll do something with it. So I always do. So let's get this mixed up. Yeah, I lead a very interesting life when I'm not on camera. There's always some kind of drama going on in my household. So if I can share it with you, I do. But I thought that was pretty funny. I don't think he thought it was pretty funny seeing that he literally opened the box, put it in the water, and then that happened. So there's no returning that. Okay, so I'm just going to pour this on and spread it out.
I'm hoping this works out. I'm not quite sure. But I think it'll be good. We're just going to let this cure till tomorrow and unmold. Easy peasy. Now a couple of my pieces, I don't know if you're watching, a couple, I am selling all these pieces. I'm not sure about this one because of the shark's teeth. But almost every piece that I have made as a demo, I do sell them. I'm just going to fill this part in because it's a little clear right there. And it's already to the edge, so I'm not going to move it over. I'm just going to pat it down. Um, I do sell my demo pieces for cost plus shipping. So if you're interested in anything that I've done and don't want to recreate it, I'm happy to get it to you. Some of them are gone. Um, so you can look at my email. In the description if you're interested in any pieces i will calculate the shipping to your zip code and get it straight away and not only will you get that piece but you will get some freebies special surprise freebies with everything that you want all right that looks good so yeah check um check out um i'm also going to do a video of what I have available and it's a lot and I'm don't want to profit off of it I'm just going to sell for cost like I said that way I can keep making tutorials this is not cheap resin as you know is not cheap so that's all I'm looking to do now I do have about two ounces left I think what can I make? I'm thinking, how much is in here? Two ounces. I think I'll make another little jar. Those are always cute to give away. Um, alcohol. I'm looking for my alcohol. Here it is. I'm just going to spray it with alcohol. This is dripping over. Now I do see a couple tiny pieces sticking up. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, so it might even just sand down, and I'm just going to wipe this edge and I'll trim it you know when I take it out of the mold easy enough with a craft knife while it's still a little bit soft tomorrow so yeah guys if you're interested I'm going to hopefully get to that tonight so you might see a video coming out with all my pieces I have around my resin room if you want a tour of my resin room that's linked below in the description you can see my resin countertops the first countertops i've ever done with resin that was fun and um yeah you can take a little tour of that there's always stuff in the description box on my videos okay I am going to let this cure and I will come back as soon as it's done. Hey guys, welcome back. I do have to say, if you missed the clip right before this, it's pretty entertaining. You might want to rewind and go watch that. My brother decided he was going to buy a remote control boat and his first venture with it was in my front pond and they decided they were going to be smart and drive it right next to the alligator that's out there one of them anyway and the alligator decided to eat it for breakfast so that was pretty funny i thought i'd share it with you anyway glad it wasn't mine not my money down the drain literally okay so this is all cured i have mixed up six ounces of resin and i went out and i bought some more sand so we can coat the back of this I do see a couple of these. They either floated or I didn't pay attention. 
So I'm going to have to somehow get those knocked down after the sand is cured. I don't want to break them down now because I don't want to ruin this layer. So I'm just going to mix some of this sand right into the resin. I want it pretty thick. I don't want it. I know I'm not going to need all of this, but I'll, I don't know. I'll do something with it. So I always do. So let's get this mixed up. Yeah, I lead a very interesting life when I'm not on camera. There's always some kind of drama going on in my household. So if I can share it with you, I do. But I thought that was pretty funny. I don't think he thought it was pretty funny seeing that he literally opened the box, put it in the water, and then that happened. So there's no returning that. Okay, so I'm just going to pour this on and spread it out. I'm hoping this works out. I'm not quite sure. But I think it'll be good. We're just going to let this cure till tomorrow and unmold. Easy peasy. Now a couple of my pieces, I don't know if you're watching a couple. I am selling all these pieces. I'm not sure about this one because of the shark's teeth. But almost every piece that I have made as a demo, I do sell them. I'm just going to fill this part in because it's a little clear right there. And it's already to the edge, so I'm not going to move it over. I'm just going to pat it down. Um, I do sell my demo pieces for cost plus shipping. So if you're interested in anything that I've done and don't want to recreate it, I'm happy to get it to you. Some of them are gone. Um, so you can look at my email in the description if you're interested in any pieces i will calculate the shipping to your zip code and get it straight away and not only will you get that piece but you will get some freebies special surprise freebies with everything that you want all right that looks good so yeah check um check out um i'm also going to do a video of what I have available and it's a lot and I'm don't want to profit off of it I'm just going to sell for cost like I said that way I can keep making tutorials this is not cheap resin as you know is not cheap so that's all I'm looking to do now I do have about two ounces left I think what can I make? I'm thinking how much is in here? Two ounces. I think I'll make another little jar. Those are always cute to give away. Um, alcohol. I'm looking for my alcohol. Here it is. I'm just going to spray it with alcohol. This is dripping over. Now I do see a couple tiny pieces sticking up. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, so it might even just sand down and I'm just going to wipe this edge and I'll trim it you know when I take it out of the mold easy enough with a craft knife while it's still a little bit soft tomorrow so yeah guys if you're interested I'm going to hopefully get to that tonight so you might see a video coming out with all my pieces I have around my resin room if you want a tour of my resin room that's linked below in the description you can see my 
resin countertops, the first countertops I've ever done with resin. That was fun. And um, yeah, you can take a little tour of that. There's always stuff in the description box on my videos. Okay, I am going to let this cure and I will come back as soon as it's done. Okay guys, it's unmolding day. It's my favorite day. Here's the extras that I use with the extra resin and sand. A little starfish, a little shell, and I make magnets out of these and give these away. And a seashell. And I made the bottom of a trinket jar. So next time I have one ounce of extra resin, I will put some more sand in and I will make the top of the jar to match. So oh, this is your bonus unmolding today. Oops. Oops, wrong way. I'll worry about that later. Anyway. Here's the little jar. It needs a little trim on the bottom. But that's not too bad. I mean, I had plenty of sand in, so it did sink a little bit, but not too much. Okay, for the main event, I have a little bit of leakage over the over the edge, but we'll just um take that off with a knife. Okay, yeah, a lot actually little bit of sand on the bottom. Actually, if I put some feet on there, it probably won't matter. Ready? Oh, that came out good. That's nice. I wish the sand was a little closer, but it's not too bad. The shells along the edge are nice and tight. You can clearly see all the shark's teeth. Here's my three glitters, of course. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I love talking to each and every one of you guys. Um, everything will be linked below that I can link below. And thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a blessed rest of your day. We'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned for the final photos. Bye-bye.